What is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers, and uh, I seen this. This gave me such a great laugh that it was so bad. Uh, I'm going to bring to you a Smash Bros. leak. This is going to be... This was funny, alright? So, like, I'm like most of you. I love looking at these fake leaks that pop up and go, Oh, you know, that would be great. It'd be cool to see and da 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 Whatever. Like reading some of the fanfic that people come up with. So, here we are on 4chan. So, that's probably a good giveaway already. Even though 4chan's been right, you know, what, like once or twice in the past. So... You know, not a big percentage of uh, getting stuff correct. Anyway, so we got a leak. Here we go. So it's about the next Nintendo Direct. So first of all, Super Vague. I can tell you <laughs> a Nintendo Direct will happen sometime in August. All right, so you're just throwing the whole month at us. All right, off to a great start. I have been told it will uh, it will be in the early in early August. Okay, what's early August? The first half of the month? But Nintendo may delay it, so trying to establish credibility. If it gets delayed, well, I told you it could get delayed. Yeah, good work on you there, buddy. Um, I could tell you some of the information that will be dropped. They will announce Luigi's Mansion release date to anyone who doesn't already know. Again, yes, Luigi's Mansion's already been confirmed. It already has a release date. I, maybe they could touch on, I mean, I'm sure they'll probably show some sort of gameplay, because, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually Nintendo Directs show off stuff that are, uh, games that are coming up in the upcoming months, you know, they're not going to show something that's coming out in a year from now, you know, they don't usually do that, they might tease something for farther down the line, like at the end of the Direct, but, you know, majority of the Direct is going to be focused on stuff coming out very soon. So anyway, let's continue on here. Um, so it'll be October 31st, if you haven't already heard, but they'll probably touch on it. it. That's a good likely. They'll retouch on the Luigi's Mansion stuff. Then we'll have gameplay of Bayonetta 3 and a release window of 2020. Whoa, a whole year. Wow. All right. So, and that, keep in mind, just a release window. And this next game we're going to talk about, there's already a confirmed release date for the game, like... That's even more bizarre. But anyway, release window 2020. Speaking of games coming out in 2020, the next one we will talk about is Animal Crossing. Uh, we'll get some gameplay, but then quickly move on to Metroid Prime 4. It will be confirmed to be released August 27th, 2020. That's still over a year. That's 13 months away. They're not going to do that. Come on. Common sense. People, if you're going to try to come up with fake leaks, come up with better crap than this. This is... This isn't even trying. It's like, yeah, I want to create a fake leak, but I'm not even going to really try to... This, some of this stuff, that just gave me a great laugh. Somehow, we don't have a confirmed release date for Bayonetta 3, which will most likely come out... No, it will come out before, or it should come out before Metroid Prime 4. But somehow, Metroid Prime 4, which restarted development in, what, January 2019, somehow is going to have a confirmed... Release date of August 27th, 2020. That ain't happening. Come on. Are you even trying at this point? Uh, don't worry, I'm getting to the Smash stuff. Anyway, um, and uh, Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games will release September 14th, 2019. Do you even try? Are you looking? Look at this. Mar right here. Nintendo's website. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Available t November 2019. Now, could they bump it up? There's a potential, but, you know, two months, eh, we'll, we'll see how that works. But again, it's already listed on websites. It's coming out in November, and you're just going to be like, nah, it's actually September. It's like you didn't even try to come up with actual proof. You didn't, you didn't do anything. Next, uh, the Smash character will be revealed. It will be Lara Croft from Tomb Raider series. If it happened, I don't think uh, people would complain about it, but I got a couple. I got a picture I got to show you. This is... Uh, uh, but no gameplay will be shown... Uh, of her, and then finally the Fighter's Pass. Uh, will the final fighter in the Fighter's Pass will be an Undertale rep, but you haven't been told who it is. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I just skipped a whole line. All right, anyway, let's go back here a bit. Finally, the direct will end. This is this is the good part. So you give us these big games, Bayonetta three, Metroid Prime four, and then the direct is going to end with one more thing. A punch out for the Wii being ported over. That's the big thing. I'd be okay with that. That'd be kind of cool to see. But you're not ending a direct with punch out for the Wii being ported over. That's like something you stick in the middle of a direct somewhere and be like, oh yeah, by the way, another ported game coming over. 
Okay, sure, yeah, you're doing great. And then uh, the bit of information. So um, what I want to show, uh, you've probably seen the thumbnail. Here's here's the picture of the fighter pass with Lara Croft. <laughs> Look at the render. Look at the model. That is pathetic. Isn't that like the Lara Croft uh, model from the, uh, the, isn't it the anniversary, I think? the Yeah, Tomb Raider anniversary. Isn't that the model? What? Come on. Are you even trying? Are you even trying? And plus the Tomb Raider, just lo the, like the logo, it looks kind of bland. I know it's a bit blurry, but that just looks bland. It looks like. I don't know. I guess Banjo Kazooie's logo is a little small. I don't know. It just feels like it should be a bit bolder. You know the design, the you know the series logo and icon and that sort of stuff. I just, <laughs> this is horrible. Like, look again. Like I said earlier, I'm all for reading these fake leaks. I'm I'm all good. I I enjoyed as much as the next person. But if you're gonna try to do this, if you're gonna come up with your own little artwork, if you're gonna come up with your own fighter pass logo can we get something that's a design from around now tomb raider is still out tomb raider is still pumping out games there's a newer model most likely if tomb raider if laura croft were to get in smash bros they'd probably end up using the most recent uh render the most recent model of that character i don't think they're going to reach way back to the tomb raider anniversary and be like yep that's the model we're going with Again, and then plus you got to realize, this would be Square getting a rep, another one. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people do not think we're getting multiple reps from, well, the same company. We already got Dragon Quest. Square's already got a Dragon Quest rep. So the odds of them getting a second one with Laura Croft, I think that even puts this uh, further in doubt. Much further in doubt. So overall we have a leak of the Nintendo Direct that will be sometime in August, but it could be delayed, but it should be early. We don't know. I'm just trying to cover my tracks on this one. This just reeks of fake BS. Didn't even really try. We got release dates for a game that has already been told. Like I said, it's already been available November 2019. But no, this one says it's coming out on September 14th. If you're going to make a fake leak and post it online, check facts, check sources, Try to cover your tracks as best you can without making it look too obvious like you're checking your tracks. Like, yeah, I've been told there's going to be a Nintendo Direct uh, later this year, but I'm not sure when, and it will have information about a game. Don't, that's, <laughs> people do that, and it's just, it, it, give, it gives me a great laugh. I'm sure people are laughing their asses off at this, but I mean, come on. Uh, and again, go back to the point, that I, Maybe, again, they could tease something at the very end of the Direct. They might show something for Bayonetta 3. I'm not definitely not going to rule that out of possibility. Because, uh, like I st uh, was stating earlier, Nintendo Directs are usually focused on games that are coming out within the next, what, two to even maybe six months. So what are we, July? So August, September, October, November, December, and then January. This just gives us, um, what, what was it, uh, the Bayonetta 3, a re release window of the entire year of 2020. And then somehow we get Metroid Prime 4, which again was restarted development in uh, January 2019, earlier this year. So you're going to give it roughly a year and a half for development for such a big game? No, they restarted development. They're going to take their time with it. They want to do it right. That's the whole reason they restarted in the first place. They were not happy with how the development was going. They're not going to rush it out all of a sudden. They're not just going to... Okay, let's just quickly get it done and throw it into the public and then everyone's going to hate it and we're never going to make Metroid again. We're not going to do that. <laughs> they ain't going to do that. They might have a talented team working on it, but it ain't coming out that quick. We're not going to have a solid release date of 13 months from now for a game that just recently restart. It's not happening. Again, whole thing reeks of just garbage. Not even trying. I mean... The, the character model for Smash Bros, the just all the information, nothing adds up. It doesn't work. So, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. This is um, just funny. I don't know. I might I might end up making this, like, I was reading the comments. Um, but I might end up making, like, a, maybe I should do, like, a series of, uh, oh, another great fake leak at our hands. Here we go. So, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this was bad. This was bad. I mean, if you're going to and ending with Punch-Out, again, I'd be okay with them porting that over, but it's 
probably not happening, especially not to end a direct. Come on. Just your information is just, like, everywhere. It's, like, I'm just going to make up whatever and hopefully everyone believes me. Nah. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. No. All right. But, yeah, I think uh, I might try to look up fake leaks just because they're fun and then we'll poke fun at it because of how bad they are. Let's be honest. I might end up doing that. Who knows? But uh, anyway, again, this was from Fortune. I'll leave the link to it down in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Feel free to. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot wrong with it. Uh, it's not adding up. And plus, why would they – are they going to really show the fourth character when, as of right now, I know the direct is scheduled to come out in August, but we still don't have the hero and then Banjo. When is Banjo coming? Are they going to really show character number four before we even have a concrete release date for character number three? Well, maybe, but I don't know. That uh, seems like it's reaching a bit. Seems like it's reaching a bit. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. Again, link in the description. Check it out for yourself. But uh, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.